this video will demonstrate installing the System Integrator 2015 server. So um, once you picked your machine uh, or you want to install the SI2015 uh, server, um, go ahead and run the HTA file from the uh, download or if you're running from disk, uh, if it doesn't autoplay, you'll run this SI installer HTA file. Let's go ahead and close that back window and click the install SI server button. This is going to open up a little wizard here and go ahead and choose next. Read our license agreement. That's quite nice. And once you get to the bottom, you'll be able to accept the terms. Click install. And this is going to install the um, SI server. Now, uh, after installation, there's going to be a configuration option. Uh, this video is going to cover the express configuration, which is what we recommend doing. So here it's uh, been installed. And you're going to click this button to run the uh, server configuration wizard. Go ahead and click that. There are two options uh, here for configuring the server, Express and Custom. Uh, this video will cover the Express, which will install uh, SQL uh, Server 2012 Express. And uh, it will also create the default folders for storing um, projects and data uh, on your uh, SI server. If you want to have uh, choices over where you um, store the uh, files, or if you want to install, so say, a full version of SQL, you would run the custom configuration. Again, we're going to go ahead and just run Express. And what you're going to see here is uh, the ability to create the uh, admin login. Uh, by default, the username and password are, are admin admin. Uh, if you want to change this, uh, go ahead. Uh, make sure you remember that. Uh, but just in case, go ahead and put an email in here in case you do forget. Happens quite often. So go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and click Next. And this will give a summary of uh, how this is going to be installed. Um, this will be the server name, which is the name of the machine where you're installing this, uh, a service port of 9010. If you happen to be using Mobile Quote, uh, an optional product that we have, it'll be uh, port 9011. Data folder is right on the root of C here. Um, again, there's the name, backup folder. Um, the SQL server name, it's going to install a uh, instance of SQL named Details 6 here. And then here's the admin information from the previous step. Go ahead and click Next. And this will install the databases uh, after uh, SQL installs. Uh, I have to have SQL installed already, so this is now just going to install all of the databases. Once they've been installed, go ahead and click Finish. And um, the SI5 2015 server has now been installed and um, configured. Uh, your next step would be to install the uh, SI client on whatever machines you plan to use uh, to access our software. They will all need to be uh, installed on uh, machines that will be on a network uh, that will be able to attach to the SI5 server or connect to it um, so they're all on the same network. So they're talking back and forth. Now, uh, you don't have to install the SI client on the same machine that you've installed your server, but you uh, certainly can. Uh, 